The lower die one outer ring is similar to things we've done in the past. It's showing you a half section. A quarter of the part has been removed, so we're going to draw just this section of it and revolve it around an axis. Let's get it started. 2D sketch. And we're going to have one, two, three steps up and one step down for our rectangles. So, rectangle, always start in the origin. There's one, two, three steps up, one step down somewhere. Ooh, that's no good. Let's try that again. Because I do want it to link in with those. Alright, and trim off the extra bits. Between these two is one inch. And it says from here to here is 0.313. That did not stay attached. I'm going to add a coinciding constraint between the two points and that will bring it back down. From this to the top here is 0.75. Uh, looking over at the side, this is going to be the same as this, so 0.219. Next one over, 0.422. Oop, missed it. There we go. I already have that height. I just need to get these widths. And those are given here. The amount over is 0.156. The next one is 0.469. And to the last one is 0.719. Now we're just missing a line to revolve this around. I like to right click on it and make it into a construction line. The outside diameter is 3.0625, and we want the radius, we're dividing that by 2. We're selecting that as our axis, and this side we're going to make a little notch on it. So if we go to the expand for origin, you can find a plane that's cutting this whole thing in half. Make a new sketch. Hit F7 to slice graphics. Use project geometry to show one of your sides. Right click and select line. Find the midpoint. Zoom in close so you can see what you're doing. It needs to go over. 0 0.016. I'm going to draw another little line, make a horizontal constraint with the midpoint of this new line and the end point of this. Dimension from tip to tip of the new line we made, and we'll call that. 0 0.031 from there to there. And this is a triangle, so I'm going to use the middle, the two end pieces, and connect them all.
I can extrude these two pieces symmetrically. So it's going the same out of both directions. Change my distance to all and change this to cut. So it's removing material from both sides at the same time and it's going to make that little notch on both. Then it says it's a 0 0.031 radius on both the top and the bottom and again I should have done that before making the fillet. So I am going to right click and suppress this feature. It's still there, it's just temporarily disabled and I'm going to go to fillet. I want this to be 0 0.031 on the top and the bottom and I have to drag this feature above my extrusion before unsuppressing it. The other thing to check is that lower die one outer ring is made out of steel. So right click on part 15, I have properties, physical, material, steel. Save, lower, die, one, outer ring. Save. 